My name is Chaka Blackman, uh, known as the Chalk Father. We're at Celebrity West Studios, Woodland Hills, California. This is the part where we would name drop. <laughs> Groups like Impromptu, CC Wine, and Will Smith. I've done a lot of stuff for Disney. Oh, I mean, I, obviously I, I'd be remiss if I left out Christina Aguilera. When I was working on NPCs, you know, with Christina, that was probably the first project where we mixed old school, like, drum machines along with DAWs. You know, the Lens and the NPCs and SP-1200s, those, those machines had a certain grit to them. When I learned about Reason, that was the first time that I heard that sound coming out of a computer. You know, that literally changed the game for me. So when Record came out, it opened up the way that you could think about a DAW. They can work independently of each other, so if I'm just doing audio and I don't have a copy of Reason loaded onto my laptop or whatever, I can still use Record and vice versa. But when you have it on the same computer, it turns into this massive thing that I've been wanting for years. Ever since Record, I found myself using other DAWs more as like a syncing tool and, and a subgroup mixer because I can literally kind of do it all now in Record. Well, this is a fairly basic track. I'll play a little bit of the track and show you kind of how it came about. I can use my combinator patches on audio inside of record and then send that through logic and manipulate it even further for even crazier ideas. I'll actually give an example of what I did in real time. So I have like my lead and I want this to come out of logic separately. So I'm gonna create a line mixer. I'm gonna go right to channel one of the line mixer and then I'm gonna bring my bridge section, since it overlaps, and bring it into channel two of the line mixer. Then I'm gonna open up my line mixer, go to my hardware interface, and put it in 11 and 12. So now I'm gonna go over to Logic, and I'm going to create a new auxiliary channel. I'm gonna make that go into input, down to record 11 and 12, and it's just that simple. And we have her vocal now on a separate rewire channel, which then I can bust out to, you know, say a Waves plug-in on top of that. No, oh, how would that sound? I'm manipulating the audio signal from Record now in Logic just coming through an auxiliary channel. Even more so the way we have it set up, syncing it through MIDI over LAN from Logic into my Pro Tools rig for my engineer. He can start Pro Tools. I can keep writing. You know, I'm doing some free flow stuff on the keyboard. He can be syncing it, taking another pass of an output into Pro Tools while I'm recording. Nothing ever has to stop and it can go back and forth. You know, the creativity never stops flowing. I was just always looking for something that made it as simple as it was for me to pick up a pen and write on paper you know, a lyric and melody. And if the workstation that you're working with doesn't afford that creativity and that quickness, when that clock is going at, you know, $100, $200 an hour, it's stifling the process and, and you never want to do that. Each year I just see the sound palette grow in fidelity and grow in sound. And so, yeah, I use less and less of other DAWs because there's just a certain sound. Record, you know, and reason inside record, um, it's its own animal. It has, a, it has a swag to it. And it's like, you know, it's, it's one of those things that when you see it, you want it. I found more in production that people want something that has an identity. They don't always want a blank piece of paper because they're the blank piece of paper.